Hello there, partner. Let's get going. This is going to be the Force F is equal to MA lab. You are going to have to, from essential documents, this bad Larry right here, title Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to MA. All right, we are going to need that. Now you will see uh, right there, zero in on it, a data table. We are going to fill that data table in. Now, actually, I didn't leave enough room for you to put all the data in here. As you can see, this says trials one, two, three, and then there's some space, and then 10. I didn't have space to fill it out, but you know, we're going to have to put all the data in here. So put this on a separate sheet of paper, spread it out, get 10 trials on there. And when you do, you will have something that looks like that. Oh, man, I'm too close. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Okay, sorry, I was running. And you're going to have something that looks like that. That's our data table. Trials 1 through 10. It says hanging mass. And that hanging mass is in kilograms. You're going to see pretty soon that I actually uh, have it done out in grams because we're going to be using, uh, you know, not that many grams you'll see that to make this uh, lab happen. But we do have to put in kilograms when we do the calculations. So I've already done that. So I haven't filled in all the data. You kids are relatively intelligent people. Look at the pattern here. Trial number 1, 0 0.02 then 0 0.018, then 0 0.016, then 0 0.014, and then go down, subtract two grams, or 0 0.002 kilograms for each trial. For trial 10, you will get down to 0 0.002. Fill that in, you can do it. You'll also see that there's a distance that I haven't filled in yet. I'm gonna show you why in just a second. And you can see that's final velocities there in meters per second. We're gonna get that from the computer. Okay, that's coming from the computer. That's where our data is gonna come from. Now, the setup is gonna look like this bring you back in just a second but we'll keep this up here on the board for now because we are going to refer back to it so there we are that's going to be our setup i know you right now going what the heck is that and that thing there what is that it's like a robotron alien or something like that that's actually <clears throat> going to be what i call the air cart and the air cart i put the mass up there is 0.3 kilograms all right and i put these masses up here uh, and what they represent uh you're going to see that very shortly. In fact, let's go back right now. Let's go back to the lab. The lab is set up and basically ready to go. And we'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to gather some data. All right. So I'm going to run in the back. Here we go. Running. Running because I need exercise. I'm just sitting around too much these days. And I'm getting fat. Not P-H-A-T fat, but F-A-T fat. Okay. Here we are. All right. Let me just show you around the room. This is where we've been learning all semester. You see winter is coming. Okay. All right, Fire and Blood, House Targaryen, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, and of course House Lannister. And over there we have Napoleon Dynamite, little SpongeBob, and little SpongeBob in the corner. Okay, a little tour of my room, there's Plankton, SpongeBob again, SpongeBob again, SpongeBob up there. You can see I am a huge SpongeBob fan, and I hope you are too. SpongeBob makes you smart. Now you can see up in front, that's where we do the videos. That's our classroom, isn't that awesome? Okay, great. Now. You're also going to notice that when I turn around, I'm going to show you once again this very modern computer. Today, I went to look for my verniers. A vernier is a little computer unit. It's about the size of a TI-84 calculator. They're gone. They are not in my room. Somebody has taken them. I have looked, and I looked, and I have looked, and I cannot find the verniers. And I was like, oh crap on a cracker. What am I going to do? And I remembered, remember we've used this bad Larry here for the very first lab, the acceleration of gravity. I said, wait a minute, maybe the software on here still has the old computer software I need to do this lab. And I looked and I looked and I looked and yes, I did. I found it and it does have it. Oh, stop doing that. What are you doing? Oh, I hope you're not crapping on me. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. Well, this is all live, people. You are getting this live. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so there, yeah, that's what we need. Uh, you've seen this software before, but it actually has the software for this particular lab still on here. So we are lucky. You might think, oh, yeah, we're not lucky. No, yes, we are. We're lucky. We can actually do this lab uh, with this old dinosaur and get away with it. So I was like, phew, because for a second there, I thought there was, how am I going to do this lab? How am I going to do it? I don't have my, my verniers. All right, I apologize for the old equipment, but you know what? It does the job. It does do the job. It works. I've checked it out, so it's all good. All right, so here's our setup. We are going to have this air track. Oh, yes, an air track. Ooh, kind of like air hockey. That should be fun, right? And at the end of the air track is a pulley. This 
is a photo gate. The photo gate has an infrared vent sensor beam on it. And you can see maybe that red light going on when something goes through it, it senses that. And it sends a signal to the computer and it records the velocity of our air cart. Here's our air cart. So we can go racing down the track through that photo gate and we're gonna record how fast the air cart goes. Now, you, you notice up on the board, way up there, I didn't put a distance down because what we're gonna do is come up with that distance to allow the air cart to travel and always be consistent. So we're going to start it from a certain distance and maybe I'll put it. Well, it actually, got, this is really not fun when I don't have a lap partner, let me tell you, and I'm trying to film something. I'm actually gonna, when I do this, go ahead and set this up on the tripod. But the uh, for now, um, what you're gonna have is we're gonna have a string. This is a string attached to the air cart. And we're gonna put this string, whoop, get under there, through the photo gate. And here, wait for it, wait for it. We are going to put it over the pulley. Now, those masses right there, are the masses that are gonna make this air cart accelerate. Now, of course, they're not doing it right now. Why? Because there's so much friction between the plastic air cart and the metal. Get you over the top there and get that bumper fixed. All right, in between the metal. So it's not gonna accelerate right now, too much friction. But as soon as I turn on the power, called the air supply, and check this out. Check this out, this is kind of funny. Okay, it's called, this is called the air supply, right? And you see it right there. Huh? Hi, anyone, anyone? We all remember our 70 duos, okay? The heartthrobs, air supply, there they are. Make it love, but nothing at all. Remember that one? Yeah, that, that's the air supply, okay? Get it? Air supply, it's funny. Yeah, okay, you're laughing, I know you are. Um, so here's a power, when I turn this on, now that puppy right there is going to accelerate and it's going to record the velocity as it passes through the photo gate right there. And we're gonna to have to make sure that we get that down in our data table. So this is going to record. I'm going to click record, I'm gonna click stop actually. Then we'll click record, it sets it to zero, and we're ready to go for a trial run. All right, now, question is, how far is the distance? Well, what we do is I'm gonna set this up so the flag, I'm trying to do this while I'm looking. So the flag, the front of that flag, right there, that black flag there, is lined up with the 90, okay? Lined up with the 90. And this is the flag that breaks the in, in, in infrared sensor. So it's that flag, what we're measuring the distance of as it goes through the photo gate. So that's at the 90 mark, remember that. Now I've set up the, right there, the photo gate's at 170. 170 minus 90, anyone, anyone? Very good, Billy, very good, 80. So this is going to run down the track 80 centimeters, which we have to put in meters, which is going to be 0.8 meters. And that's gonna be your distance, and I'm gonna be consistent. So every single trial that I do, I'm gonna make sure I start the cart at 90, and make sure we've got our photo gate locked in there and sitting there at 170, and that'll be the distance that the cart travels. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, whew, it's exhausting running all this way. Man, oh, okay, sorry, I hope I didn't make you nauseous. Um, so we're gonna one hand this marker. Oh, I'm telling you, life is not difficult. I, I, I'm trying to get this off with my teeth. Not working, ow, it hurt. All right. Yeah, see, lab partner, you're sick today. You're not here with me, I need you to help me. So this distance is 0 0.80 meters, all 10 trials. So we're gonna make sure that we have that. We'll see that for calculations, we are gonna need that. So we're using 0 0.8 meters, so we'll be consistent with every trial, starting it at that same spot. Those velocities show up on our computer in the back when it goes through. Okay, hang on, I'm not gonna want this marker to dry out, so I'm gonna put you down. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go and get this fired up. Don't you feel like you're really here? I mean, don't you, yeah, yeah, like you're really with me. I really wish you were, because doing this lab is a pain. Okay, so now I need to get this. Okay, so it's tricky, you see, you see, all right, move this over a little bit so I can reach. Come on, air supply. Get over here. Stop singing. 
Stop singing. Where supply people might be singing along at home right now. All right, so I'm going to turn this on. So I start up the air track and I'm going to let it go. And I'm going to start it from this distance. I have to move with the air cart when it goes down through the photo gate because if I don't, it's going to bounce off that bumper. That rubber band bumper there is going to make it bounce off the end. It's going to go back through the photo gate. I don't want that because that would cause error. I'd be at some different velocity. These weights, these masses, total 20 grams. That's 20 grams right there. And that's why I put those up front for you. Okay, to show you that there's a large black mass, a small black mass, a large silver mass, and a small silver mass. And the hooky thing, I call it the hooky thing, the hook that the masses are sitting on is two grams all by itself. So if I put one of each of those and the two grams, I have 20 grams. Every trial, I'm taking off two grams of these masses, all right, just like over here, two grams of the masses, and it's gonna give us a new velocity. And I'll do that every trial until we get down to just the hooky thing by itself, which is two grams. That's gonna be that last trial there. And we'll let that go and see what happens. So those masses, okay, are there. Okay. Oh, man, I'm getting a workout today. So that is 20 grams. We have one of each of the masses on there. All right, here we go. Enough talking. You can see what we're doing. And I'm going to let that fire it up. We're going to let this go. I'm actually going to hold on to it. Okay, when I do this. Actually, you know what? Here's the thing. At this point here, I think for now I can go ahead and just set my, my I'll, put, I'll put my camera holder up here and um, I can actually get a lot easier done than trying to do this with one hand. So I will, I will BRB. I'll get you fired up in just a second. 